Victoria, I love everything about you. I love the way you smile, the way you laugh, and the way you look at me when I tell you I love you. I promise to never let this amazing love that we have die. You are truly my best friend and I enjoy every moment we share together. I vow to always unconditionally love you and to keep God in the center of our relationship. We finally made it. I get to marry the sweetest man that ever existed. Can you believe that today is the big day that we have dreamed of for years now? I love you so much, sweetheart, and I can't wait to be your wife. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Victoria, what can I say? The past five years with you have been the best five years of my life. I never would have dreamed that I would be marrying someone like you. You are so sweet, funny, kind, tender-hearted, and loving. With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. And pledge to you. And pledge to you. My loyalty and love. My loyalty and love. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son. Wild frontier, morning light, and all the Father. This ring? With this ring? I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge to you. And pledge to you. My loyalty and love. My loyalty and love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Drew and Victoria have consented met together their marriage. They've made their vows before God and these witnesses. They symbolize their vows by giving and receiving rings. It is my honor to introduce them to you as husband and his wife. May those whom God has joined, let no one separate. Drew, you may now kiss your bride. One of my favorite memories of Victoria was one time when we were at a sleepover, one of many, 
and Angie walked in the middle of us with one of those old fashioned caps on that came out of a box tie, trying to do highlights on Victoria's hair. <laughs> and she stopped us right in the middle of it. <laughs> One of many memories with Angie catching us in the middle of some shenanigans again. <laughs> Let's all raise our glass to Drew. His beautiful new wife, Victoria, and the incredible journey that they're about to embark on. Drew and Victoria, please remember that love is not about how much you say I love you. It's about what you do every day to prove it. A toast to you both. And I know I speak for everyone in the room when I say that we all wish you a long, healthy, and happy life together. May you continue to show your love for each other each and every day. Let's raise a glass of that.